Now to this year's local hero in the Australia Day Awards, Western Sydney maths teacher Eddie Wu began posting maths videos online on YouTube in 2012 for a student who was absent because of his cancer treatments. His site, WooTube, now boasts 100,000 subscribers and has attracted more than 8 million views worldwide. He's made mathematics less scary and accessible for so many, including some adults I know. Eddie Wu joins us now from Canberra. Eddie Wu, good morning and congratulations. Thank you so much. It's absolutely great to be here. Look, it's an amazing uh, life and career that you have, and I was so interested to learn that um, there were, you were a brilliant young student and there were very high expectations of you, and normally proud parents start thinking along the lines of doctor, lawyer and the like, but you always wanted to go down a different path, didn't you? I did want to make sure that whatever I did in my life, it was a way that I could use my gifts to be able to serve the community around me. And even though once upon a time that dream was to be a firefighter, you know, having chronic asthma kind of took the air out of that dream, uh, when I realised that I love helping people learn and that it's just an unending privilege to be able to interact with young people and help them grow, flourish and find their place out in the world and the community, it's just a huge privilege that I just couldn't resist. As a, a teacher, when did you first encounter to that phobia that so many of us have about mathematics that becomes that intellectual block and and what did you think of it when you could see that look in a student's eye they're terrified of this to be honest the first time I encountered that phobia was when I was back at school experiencing mathematics myself yeah. it wasn't my favorite subject it wasn't my best subject English and history were the things that I would have counted as my strengths and that's actually part of the journey that I've taken to learning that you know what if mathematics wasn't my strong suit, but through going to university and actually getting a mathematics degree, through hard work and perseverance and the support of others, I was able to come to that understanding. That's a huge part of why I know, I believe, even when the students themselves are convinced otherwise, that <laughs> everyone can learn mathematics and it's something for all of us to enjoy and embrace. The story of the origins of WooTube, which is uh, you know, internationally celebrated now, is, is a really wonderful one. Share that with us. How did it begin? Uh, look, five years ago, you mentioned a little bit of this before, I had a student of mine, he was just 16 years old, and he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which most people will know is an incredibly violent, aggressive disease. Yeah. You know, three to six months is the kind of prognosis you would expect. And I knew that this boy was going to be missing weeks and weeks of school for, for treatment, even after his treatment, the recovery because of his immune system. And I thought it would just be a tragedy if I got a textbook, set it in his hands and said, you know, We'll see you in a month, have a go at chapter five and good luck. And mathematics is the kind of subject where someone has to really sit alongside you, help you understand what the concepts mean and how they connect to your life and to each other. And so I thought, look, we have technology now that can help us do better than this. I just got my phone out of my pocket. The quality wasn't amazing, but you could see the whiteboard, you could hear my voice, and I only had this one boy in mind, so I wasn't really all that concerned. And I hit record in the middle of one of my just regular lessons mm. with his class while they were at school, and the rest is history. It certainly is. And you, you gave a wonderful speech last night uh, where you, uh, you brought together mathematics, and poetry and what it is to be Australian. And I just want to quote one line from it last night where you said, it's also strange for me to be the one standing here today, being a person who was harassed and isolated for not being Australian. And that, that speaks to a, a really important part of what we also have to recognise on Australian, Australia Day, that it's been a difficult journey for, for those who are, who are different. I mean, diversity is both the hardest and best part about Australian society, you know. Uh, like Martin Luther King Jr. said, we might have all come here in different ships, but now we're all in the same boat. And I think that that, while it presents huge challenges in sort of reckoning with diversity, and it's something we have to learn afresh. Every new generation mm. has to work out, OK, what does it mean to get along with people who think differently to me, believe different things, who speak differently? But actually going through that process is so transformative. It's one of the things that makes me so passionate about being a teacher because I get to see young people wrestle with that and actually come to a deeper and richer understanding of their own self and identity through being with others who are different. But that difficult process that you spoke about there, about being harassed and isolated, do you think it, it took more from you or gave you more? I would never wish that experience on anyone, but when I look back, I definitely recognise that through going through that experience, that was really formative for me to recognise that, you know what, I, I don't hold it against any of the my peers who acted in that way because I know that they were themselves trying to work out who they were and what their place in the world was. Mm. And it's a very natural human instinct to 
be afraid of things that are different and to try and shore up your own identity and say, well, we're not like that. But that's why I feel so strongly about children having that great foundation. You know, families are a huge part of how children learn this, but so are schools. I mean, hundreds and thousands of hours are what our young people spend in their schooling career. Yeah. And so it's just an opportunity that we can't miss to help our young people grow in society. And this year then, Eddie Wu, just finally this morning, what does it mean for you? How will you spend it? I'm really looking forward to the opportunities I'll have to help people recognise the enduring value of education, which in a country like this we often forget since it's so easily accessible to us. Mm. And I also am on a mission to help people have a different view of what mathematics is, that it really is more than just numbers. It can be a beautiful subject that's practical and useful to all of us, and I want to help people have a, a new concept and change their perspective on it. Eddie Root, congratulations. Uh, we're really pleased for you. Enjoy this year coming up. Coming up, it's going to be a terrific one for you and your students. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.